Hey, it's Rudy again, and today we're going to talk about my experience with, um, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, um, my experience with consciousness, my experience with consciousness in the state of spheres. I don't know. Let's just get right into it. So, I was sleeping, and I guess in my sleep, I must have projected myself outside of Earth dreams because this was more of a dream outside of the ideas of what Earth is in reality here on Earth. And what happened was I was in darkness, but yet I was aware of my a silhouette of my body but it was all darkness I couldn't see it but I was aware of my body and I was in darkness and I realized that there was this sphere around me there was this ball around me and all of a sudden this ball started spinning and it felt like I was gaining ground and I was moving forward with this ball as it was spinning and I was in the center staying still and I was just like like a rider on a vehicle being pulled and then for some reason I guess I decided to stick my arms out touching the sphere that I couldn't see but I, I was aware of it being there and I was aware of myself and my human physical body my legs my arms so I stuck my arms out into the ball and what happened was because the ball was spinning, my hands got tangled up. <laughs> Let me give a better example. My hands got tangled up in it. See? Just like that. They got tangled into the ball as if my hands were giving pressure to the edges of the ball and caused it to tangle around my hands and it caused the ball to stop. And I guess I ended up in another part of this dream because then all of a sudden I could see my body like like I was standing like this I don't know if you guys could probably got cut off I was standing completely with my arms and legs out and I was a silhouette again but I was a silhouette of light this time the backdrop was not black my surroundings were this, I want to, I don't want to say white light, it was more of a cream, orangish hue of light, and I could see the outline of my body, but I couldn't actually see any physical features or any of it, it was just more of a silhouette, and I was going back and forth from being this silhouette and being this big huge floating ball of light and again it wasn't like white light it was like this orange hue of light and it was almost like this spinning ball and I was just going back and forth from the silhouette of me and this ball and then all of a sudden I'm just right before the ball I'm witnessing it I'm um, standing before it, this huge ball of consciousness just spinning and all I remember was there was no thought process but all I could hear was this really loud ringing pinging sound throughout everything it wasn't just like something that's coming from your ears or your head it was it was coming from everywhere and it was really loud it saturated the whole moment and it was such a frequency that I had never heard before through my human flesh. It was so high in pitch, yet so low and vibrant. And <laughs> that was basically the end of it. And I, I think I probably woke up. I don't remember. This happened to me when I was about 16, 17 years old. I'm 22 now. So been quite a while but ever since then I've noticed that throughout my dreams 
I astral project and I lucid dream a lot. And sometimes I can induce it by really wanting it, by really wanting to go out and travel at night. And I used to do this when I was young too, a lot. And it used to bring me fear because I wasn't truly consciously aware of what was going on and it would freak me out. But as I got older, it started happening more regularly and I became consciously aware that this was me. And now I'm on the path of trying this on a daily. So I'm gonna be starting a astral log daily from now. I've already had two days where I purposely astral projected consciously and I'm going to try to keep the process going and uh, I'm going to log it in for you guys so you guys could give me feedback on your experiences and could help me out through my experiences because I've done this in my dreams. I've been a lucid dreamer and traveled here and there every now and then but to do it consciously just feels like a whole nother world. It feels like I'm trying to take some sort of control over it or have more of reflection of it so I actually remember these experiences. So thank you guys and if you want to check out that astrologue, uh, I'm going to start uploading it on a daily hopefully. Hopefully I could do it every day because you know I'm kind of new to this and I have to recreate the effects on my own. So it's it's going to be an interesting process. Thank you guys for sticking by. Have a good one.